Yep, I got it, COVID. That's why I sound like this. It was a rough week. Look what came in while I was quarantining at home though. Hey guys, I'm Donald Duck and this is Watch Crunch. Are you that weirdo who takes wrist shots in public? Well, you belong on watchcrunch.com, the best online community for watch lovers. So we all grew up with these little bedside clocks, right? Those digital things with the big snooze button on top. Well, it's a bit of a nostalgic factor there. So I came across this desk clock on Seiko Clock USA's website and I just couldn't resist. For $45, I don't regret my decision even a little bit. They call these My Clocks, M-A-I. Not sure who came up with that, but these new releases are modeled after iconic Seiko dive watches. They're $45. You have a variety of colorways to choose from, including white and dark dials. You know I had to go with the classic SKX 009 two-tone flavor. So I wasn't expecting much at this price, and let's not kid ourselves, the whole thing is plastic constructed, but the case has a pleasant blue finish. The dial is dark gray with a black minute track. The minute hand is red, which echoes the red on the bezel. And that bezel is unfortunately not functional and it's fixed. But one pleasant surprise is that the second hand has a completely smooth sweep. Damn Seiko, I didn't know you can get a spring drive at this price point. The fourth hand is an alarm hand, and to operate it, you turn a knob on the back, and when the alarm hand and hour hand coincide, that's when the alarm is triggered. I guess you can't really set an alarm more than 12 hours ahead. And if you pull the knob out to the first position, then you can set the time. Otherwise, on the back, it's pretty simple. You find the alarm on and off switch, a battery door that houses one AA battery, which is actually included in your package. On the wrist, the SKX clock fits surprisingly well due to its short lug-to-lug -lug distance. I'm just kidding, uh, but the dimensions are 94 by 46 inches, if you're curious. The big button on top is a uh, ugly chrome, but it triggers a green LED mounted at the base of the dial. Each push activates it for about five seconds, and instead of abruptly shutting off, it actually slowly dims, which is a nice touch. But because it's a single light source, the light doesn't really evenly light the dial, and due to its position, it reveals just how cloudy that plastic crystal is. Another pleasant surprise is that this dial actually has real loom. If we give it a little bit of UV, it reveals a nice blue glow in true Seiko Diver fashion. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep this one short. Still not feeling 100%, but didn't wanna leave y'all hanging this week. Uh, be sure to pop over to watchcrunch.com, join the discussion there. Um, yes, for everyone who's asking, we are working on an app. Uh, I don't have uh, exact ETA, but I'll keep you posted when I get a better idea. Uh, the team also worked really hard to optimize the browser experience to be very app-like. Um, if you're already on Crunch, you can attest to this. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you next time.